Tonight's reading is from the book of Luke. Chapter 20, starting with verse 45. Thank you for tuning in. While all the people were listening, he said to his disciples, Beware of the scribes who want to go around in long robes and who love greetings in the marketplaces, the front seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and say long prayers just for show. These will receive greater punishment. He looked up and saw the rich dropping their offerings into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow dropping in two tiny coins. I tell you the truth, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. For these people have put in gifts out of their surplus, but she out of her poverty has put in all she had to live on. As some were talking about the temple complex, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God, he said, these things that you see the days will come when not one stone will be left on another that will not be thrown down. Teacher, they asked him, So when will these things be? And what will be the sign when these things are about to take place? Then he said, Watch out that you are not deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time is near. Don't follow them. When you hear of wars and rebellions, don't be alarmed. Indeed, these things must take place first. But the end won't come right away. Then he told them, Nation will be raised against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be violent earthquakes and famines and plagues in various places. And there will be terrifying signs and great signs from heaven. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and prisons. And you will be brought before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to an opportunity for you to witness. Therefore, make up your minds not to prepare your defense ahead of time. For I will give you such words and a wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. You will even be betrayed by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends. They will kill some of you. You will be hated by everyone because of my name. But not a hair of your head will be lost. By your endurance, gain your lives. When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then recognize that its desolation has come near. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Those inside the city must leave it, and those who are in the country must not enter it. Because these days of vengeance... to These... But because these are days of vengeance to fulfill all the things that are written. Woe to pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days, for there will be great distress in the land and wrath against this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive into all the nations, and Jerusalem will be trampled by the Gentiles." until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. Then there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and there will be anguish on the earth among nations, bewildered by the roaring sea and waves. People will faint from fear and expectation of the things that are coming on the world because the celestial powers will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these things begin to take place, stand up and lift your heads, because your redemption is near. Then he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they put out leaves, you can see for yourselves and recognize that summer is already near. In the same way, 
When you see these things happening, recognize that the kingdom of God is near. I assure you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Be on your guard so that your minds are not dulled with carousing, drunkenness, and worries of life. Or that day will come on you unexpectedly, like a trap. For it will come on all who live on the face of the whole earth. But be alert at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. <clears throat> During the day, he was teaching in the temple complex. But in the evening, he would go out and spend the night on what is called the Mount of Olives. Then all the people would come early in the morning to hear him in the temple complex. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed night.